Right now, we're going to talk about United Airlines because their shares are trading slightly higher in the pre-market. Joining us right now to break down the company's earnings report, our own Phil LeBeau is with us. Good morning to you, Phil. Good morning, Andrew. For United investors, there was not a whole lot to complain about when you look at the second quarter results. Basically, they beat on the top and the bottom line. And when you look at some of the numbers within the numbers, whether it is pre-tax profit margin, whether it is PRASM, the passenger revenue per available seat miles, look, they were all strong. They have also raised their full year guidance, essentially raised the lower end of that guidance. But they are not detailing the exact impact of not having the 737 MAX. Remember, they have been grounded since the middle of March, and United has 14 of those in their fleet. So here's United's MAX plan, and this will get a number of questions on the analyst call today. Remember, it's off the schedule at least through November 3rd, though I have to be honest with you. There are very few people in the airline industry who believe that this plane will be flying by the end of the year. The 2019 capacity, therefore, is up just 3 to 4 percent. Previously, it was up 5 to 6 percent. They have 14 in the fleet that are currently grounded. They were scheduled to deliver or receive delivery of another 16 this year. That may not happen. There's a good chance it could get pushed well into the first quarter of next year. So as a result, United, as you take a look at shares, has said that it has purchased 19 used 737-700s. They're not detailing what they paid for those airplanes, who they bought them from, but they're going to start taking delivery in, in December. And guys, that speaks to the fact that they have capacity plans. They want to make sure that they have the planes in place. We're going to be talking with United CEO Oscar Munoz exclusively coming up at the top of the 8 a.m. hour. You don't want to miss what he has to say, not just about the MAX, but also about the state of the airline business. Domestically, Demand is rock solid, very, very strong here in the U.S. The question is internationally, what are they seeing in Asia? Remember, we talked with uh, Ed Bastian from Delta last week. He said there are some areas there that not not soft, but worth keeping an eye on. That's what we want to talk with Oscar Munoz about. And we'll also ask him, obviously, about transatlantic business as well.